What is up guys, um, Evil Chief here, and today um, I'm going to teach you how to set a server for Linux Minecraft. So it's not as easy as Windows, so, um, so you have to follow these steps. Okay, now first um, we go to Minecraft.net, and then um, you should get this page, um, go to Minecraft.net slash download. I'm not sure. You, um, okay, now you have to create your own um folder. So this is where your Minecraft server will be in. Okay, so um, now that I have this, um, save the jar file anywhere. So anyway, now. So now you're probably wondering which one to download: the .exe or the .jar. Now. For Linux, you have to download this jar. A jar. Sorry about that. So just download quickly. Download that. Save the file. So just wait a minute while it saves. And um, okay. Now you go to its um place. Let's um put this over here. Okay. Now I have the Minecraft server 1.8.1 the jar. Now you drag it into a folder. So like, if you open this up, here it is. Okay. Now for the Java code, let's um. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Okay. Now create a new document and put um, Minecraft um. C.sh. Now you're going to want to copy and paste these this Java code. So let's do the let's do that right now. Copy paste. That's better. Save. Now to open the server, all you have to do is on this. Um C D desktop. Then C D to the place where your Minecraft server is in. Um oh wait. Actually no, we gotta we got to rename it first. Um, wait. Actually, I just have to rename it. It won't really um like detect um this. Okay, let's do that. Minecraft. Okay. So now that we're in, just do Java jar Minecraft server. The one point eight point one the jar. So then after that, after that, this is when your server actually loads. See? Now, you might be wondering why. So now you have to agree to the EULA. So there, change the EULA to true. Okay. Then now just, just save that. And then now you can now run the server again and you're ready to go. Um. I'll just demonstrate it for you. Okay. Oh. For dot one point eight point one the jar. As you can see, it's it's loading, and um, you should you should come up with this screen. Okay. So um, now how about that um. However, before anyone can join your server, you will have to port forward. Um, so now what that does is like uh, anyone like from outside your connection can come in the server. So right right now, um, it's only like those in your network can come can come and join. So now once you got that all prepared, so now if I load Minecraft, um, I'll demonstrate it to you. Okay, I'll try to load Minecraft right now. Java. Yeah. So um, once you port forward it, you will have to give those people your um public IP. Now the public IP is the one um, the one that people will use to join your server. Okay. So I'll open up Minecraft. Here. Okay. Um. Now, um, now for now it is it's local host. So as you can see, um, oh let me just. 
sorry about that um now as you can see um we set up a server for 1.8.1 that's so um i'm using 1.7.10 right now so look have a look at that so anyway now um i now your server is set up um if you want to just um now if you want to join by config um okay so if if you want to i'll just show something where is the ip server ip Okay, now um for changes you will have to um if you want to change you'll have to restart the server, close the terminal. Okay, now I'll demonstrate this um for you. Now um be sure to um when you're seeding to some place you be sure to like um do it in the correct cap capital letter. Or else it won't work this is for Linux only though in Windows I'm pretty sure you can't you don't have to worry about capital letters case sensitive and now you're done so I'm um, starting Minecraft server on 1 to 7.0.1 and then your port this is your port 25565 okay so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back with more on um, Minecraft uh, on Linux tutorials and I'll um, see you guys next time.